Okay, we're ready to take off the front suspension. I will have to take off this temporary uh, tie rod, if you will, that I, I use to keep the wheels in sync whenever I was uh, whenever I had to take the car off so that I could work on my wife's car. Um, what I've done is taken off the dust cover and trying to find the end of this cotter pin here that holds the nut on. Okay, that nut or that cover pin's off. Now, this does not surprise me because these are not supposed to be tight. Uh, you spin the wheel as you're putting it on, tighten it up, and then you back it off. I think it's like 12 foot pounds of torque. It's it's not very much. I, you know, on the old cars we used to just do them by feel, and all you had to do was uh, spin the wheel as you were tightening it so that the, the bearings would seat. Then, okay, here's your outer wheel bearing. It's got a washer. That washer has has a little protrusion on it that fits in a groove in the axle shaft here, the spindle. And it should come right off. Seems to be hung up. left with the spindle there. Okay, that's the inside of the hub. This is where that um, rivet was rubbing in the rotor. And there's a seal here and the inner wheel bearing sits inside that seal.